Another edition of our Sherwood Ford Giant Off-Season Countdown brought to you by Sherwood Ford the Giant. We are counting down the 10 storylines I'm watching the closest heading into next season for the Edmonton Oilers. The first three were all about the forward group. Today, we're shifting our focus to the blue line. I want to talk about Vinny DeHarnay and Philip Broberg. These are two guys who both made different impacts with the Oilers next season. Coming into the year, Broberg was expected to be a guy who took a big leap forward, finally became an everyday NHL defenseman for the team. 26-year-old Vinny DeHarnay started the year injured. He's a guy who a lot of people didn't have on their NHL radars to start the year, but what an impact he made when he came up to the big club in January with Vinny. Any, we winny. He was a great third-pairing D-man through the rest of the regular season for the Oilers, and while he got exposed a little bit in the playoffs, I'm actually still pretty bullish on his ability to be an everyday or close to it defenseman for the Oilers next year. At the same time, they probably need to give Philip Broberg some opportunities. Broberg, a left-shot D-man, is slotted behind the likes of Ekholm, Nurse, and Kulak on the depth chart, but Ken Holland has been vocal about the fact he believes Broberg can play his offside and be on the right side of the Oilers' blue line. As a former top 10 pick, it's about time that Philip Broberg starts taking some serious steps forward, and if that doesn't happen in the first few months of the season leading into the trade deadline, I think they may use him as trade bait to upgrade their roster at next year's deadline or maybe next summer as well. It's go time for Philip Broberg as a prospect, and I think the Oilers need to give him every opportunity they can early in the year to see if this guy can take a massive step forward. Vinny DeHarnay is fine. I like the fact that there's some competition for that third pairing spot. The Oilers are going to need one of those two to take a big step forward, or else come trade deadline time, a right-handed or defenseman who can play the right side is going to be number one on Ken Holland's list. A solid third pairing would go a long ways. Brett Kulak is very good, but they need to have a partner who can help him out. One of Broberg or DeHarnay need to be that guy for the Oilers next season. Let's be honest, you're probably going to need both of them at different points throughout the season. How many times has an NHL team gone 82 games only using six defensemen? How many times have they only had to use seven D-men? The Oilers are going to need some depth on the blue line, and injuries will always hit. So who knows? Broberg or DeHarnay could have to play a role that's even higher up in the lineup than just being that third-pairing right-shot defenseman. So those are the two guys I'm watching the closest on the blue line early in next season. Philip Broberg, can he finally start to creep closer to that potential, that top-four D-man potential? If not, his days in Edmonton could be numbered, and can Vinny DeHarnay show that he learned some tough lessons in the playoffs? but that he's grown from him, and can he take some steps forward in his second full season as an NHL defenseman? That's number seven on my Sherwood Ford, the giant off-season countdown, taking a look at the top 10 storylines I'm watching the closest heading into next season. Stay tuned for next week's video.